All right, so we have this triangle, all right, and we notice it's not a right triangle, so we can't use our um, general, you know, just trigonometric terms or even the Pythagorean theorem. We have to now use, um, you know, our either law signs or law cosines. For this problem, we're going to we're going to be able to use the law signs. So here's the way it works. We take a look at this and we notice that we have um, 40 degrees, 105 degrees, and C equals 20 degrees. So what I'm going to do is the law of sines, you know, states that the proportion of a side length and this angle are equal to the rest for all the sides. So I'm going to take a look and see, well, what, what um, values am I given right now where I can actually find one of the missing values? So I look at this, I'm given angle B, which is 40 degrees, and I'm also given angle C, which is 105, and I'm given the side length C, which is 20. Okay. Am I given anything for A at this current point? No. 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 So obviously, guys, when learning solving proportions, it's just a ratio equals another ratio. So we're going to eliminate sine. We're going to eliminate the A right now, and just focus on trying to find the value of B, which is the length B. Okay. So here we have our a proportion. A very simple way to solve a proportion is what a lot of people like having green in their memory, which is to cross multiply. Okay, so a very easy way we can cross multiply. When I do that, I get B sine of 105 equals 20 times sine of 40, right? Now to solve for B, I'll divide by sine of 105 on both sides. Okay, so therefore B equals, and just make sure when you guys are plugging this in your calculator that you close your parentheses. So I'm going to do 20 times sine of 40, close parentheses, divided by sine of 105. And I'm going to get up 13.30. I'm going to round to the nearest hundredth for the problem. So 13.31. That's the lowercase b, I'm sorry. So that equals 13.31. All right? So now we need to figure out what our A's and our A are, right? We're kind of stuck here. We don't know what the angle is, nor do we know what the sine length is. Well, going back to our geometry days, we can remember that all the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So I can write A equals 180 minus 105 minus 40. Correct? Let me do. Right? So therefore, angle A equals 35 degrees. So now, let's go back and use a proportion here. So, everybody's got that done? No, no not yet. Okay. Yes. So, so let's go and use a proportion. We have A over sine of 35 degrees is equal to, now we already know everything for B and everything for C, right? We have the angle and the side length for B and the angle and the side length for C. So which proportion do you want to set A equal to? The B or C, it doesn't really matter. We have the angle. Does anybody have a choice? B? You want to do C? It doesn't really matter. It's kind of like on your personality, um, whatever you really want to do. My advice though, it usually would be helpful to always do the one that's always kind of given to you just in case you accidentally made a mistake. Um, you know, you know you don't have time to always check your answer. So I would always I would like to always use the one that's been given. So I'll use C, which is uh, 20 over sine of 105. So I'm not gonna do the whole cross multiplication for you. I'm just gonna write it out how it's gonna look. So therefore, this time it's gonna be equal A equals 20 sine of 35 divided by sine of 105. I just did the work in my head just to kind of move along. So now I can just do the same thing. So 20 times sine of 35, close the parenthesis, divided by sine of 105. That equals 11.88 as I round it. So I can say A equals 11.88, here's 35 degrees. I know all the angles add up to 180. Do these side lengths seem reasonable? Right? There's no like 4,000 
silent, right? So they seem like they'd be reasonable to look for an answer. So therefore, that's it. That's all you guys had to do. Yes, question. Oh, no, it's not right. I don't know how to do it on my head. Well, all right. Oh, can I help you out? You've got it right. You say it all add up to 180, right? For the angles in the triangle, yeah, yeah absolutely.